This is going to be a recording on how I separate a prefab into individual parts. I'm sure that there's better and easier ways to do it. This is just the way I found that I've learned to deal with. And I'm just going to use an example of one of the Cinti products uh, from the Western. It's going to be the Saloon. So down in the bottom, I'll just type in Saloon. And it brings up the prefab that I want to separate into individual parts. And what I mean, mean by that is here, I'll go ahead and bring this in. I put a light in there so I can click on it and you can see inside. And it's all one big mesh, basically. So I'll zoom in inside of it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Is that like this staircase, for example, you can't click on these individual steps or the rail or even like the post here because it's one big mesh. Now the windows are separated in separately, but all these other individuals, even like the bar, uh, you can't click on that individually to put a collider on it to walk out, uh, bump into, or even the steps to go up and down on. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I will delete this saloon. And I'll back out just a little bit. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up into Blender. So I'll bring Blender up and I got rid of the light and that little cube that pops up all the time. And then I will go to Import F FBX File. And then I, what I did is I went to the directory in which the Cinti Western package is in. And then I'll just scroll down to where the saloon is. And I'll double click on it. And then I've got the model itself. Now what I want to do is I want to break this all up into individual pieces. So what I will do is I'll make sure that it's selected. And then I will go up here and you can either hit tab or you can just go up to this little drop down and go into edit mode. And once you do that, press A on your keyboard. And what that will do, that will make sure that all the faces are selected. Like right here, I have the, the faces selected. Make sure the faces is selected where you see the mouse uh, circling around. And make sure that's selected. Then press A. It will select all the faces of that. And then press P, like P, like Peter, on your keyboard. And go down to loose parts. We're going to break it down into loose parts. And now every single one of these items in here, like the post, uh, the, the side, the doors, everything, the steps here, they're all broken out now. And what I will do is now I'll export this back out into another XBS file. I'll go to File, Export, FBX, and I just put it in the same directory. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call this Saloon Number 2. Uh, and then you just hit Export, give it a second, and then when you go back into Unity, you'll see that Saloon 2 pops up back in the same directory because that's what I saved it into. And it give it just a second to update. And now when I bring this in and drop it in here, all these are individual parts now. Like there's the column. The rails on the, on the upper stack. They're all individual parts. And you note they don't have any um, materials assigned, assigned to it. So what I will do is go over to my hierarchy. I will select on the first one. And scroll down to the bottom one hit press my shift key and that will select all of them then I will go to materials under mesh renderer I'll go under materials and then I'll hit this little circle and I'll key in West just uh, because it's part of the Western package and then I will just select either one of these and when I do now all the materials are back the way it should be and if I click back in here and we'll go inside it. Well, let me just zoom in here. And now you will see that all these parts inside this saloon are now individual pieces. Like there's the rail and you, there's the steps. I clicked on the floor there. The individual steps. Here's the bar. Uh, the post in the middle of here. Now you'll need to go in there and put colliders on them whether you want to put box colliders or mesh colliders on those. Uh, but now you can walk through here, you know, bump into things. You can put mesh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, colliders on the steps so you can walk up and down the steps. And this breaks it down more into what I need it for. And I struggled for a while on how to do that. So I just kind of watched some two YouTube videos and came up with this method. And it seems to work for me. That way I can go in here and I can assign meshes to what I need to use. Like on these upstairs rails, I don't need to put a mesh, uh, I'm sorry, a collider on every one of these rails, I can just put it on the top. 
and that will keep my character from walking off the edge because he can't go across this. I don't need to put a, a collider on each individual of these uh, poles within the, the rail. But anyway, hope you found this in, uh, useful, and that's the way I do it. Now these didn't, have, I didn't put a, um, a material on the doors or the windows yet, and I'll go back and do that. But here again, all these parts now are individual. Uh, so I can uh, put colliders on them and that way my characters will bump into them and walk around them Thank you for watching and if you found this useful, please uh, think about liking and subscribe and leave me a comment